Hey everyone, this is Pie Patel and you're watching Piece of the Pie. Stick around because today we're going on an exotic journey to the other side of the world. And you're not going to want to miss it. The citizens of South Korea do not take blockchain technology lightly. The South Korean won makes up roughly 15% of the total Bitcoin trade volume, beating out the Euro, Pound, Ruble, Lira, and the Australian dollar all combined. South Korea is the home for the third largest crypto exchange in the world, Upbit. Despite being a smaller country of 51 million citizens compared to Japan's 127 million and the US's 323 million, South Korea embraces the blockchain and is one of the biggest players in crypto investing. So it's only natural that a new and very innovative blockchain tech would ultimately surface from within their borders. Being touted as third generation blockchain of blockchains, super chain, and or hyper chain. The technology is capable of breaking down the barriers between other blockchains. That's right, one of the big selling points for the ICON platform is its uncanny ability to interconnect existing blockchain technologies together, allowing real-time transactions and smart contracts to occur between them. This idea ultimately has the ability to hyper-connect enterprises, blockchain communities, organizations, countries, even the world. This can all be achieved through the use of ICON's Nexus platform, which is the backbone of ICON's ability to speak with other blockchains and perform many other amazing things. So. How would it be used in a real life scenario? Imagine several security firms interconnected via blockchain. They're able to share data with their own private ledger and their own governance rules. Then imagine a completely separate group of banks and financial institutions that also have their own blockchain, their own governance rules, and their own ledger. These two separated blockchains are what ICON calls communities. And now, take it even one step further and interconnect those two communities together with their own rules, their own ledger, and with other benefits. The great thing about all of this is that it is not at all just a hypothetical scenario. This is already happening. According to some old figures, there are a reported 25 security firms, six hospitals, three banks, and universities that are contracted and already using the ICON platform. So we can expect to continue seeing a lot of legitimate use and growth taking a hold. And not just speculative or hopeful future growth that a lot of mainstream platforms are currently relying on. Now all of this interconnecting of large businesses and enterprises does come with a hefty cost. One of the problems we've been seeing with other leading tech is severe scalability issues that have resulted in long transaction times and very high fees. The ICON platform boasts an uncanny ability to scale endlessly upwards with hypothetical speeds currently at 9,000 transactions per second with planned future enhancements. It is one of the very few blockchain platforms that actually appears ready for mass adoption and being able to handle the insane amount of network traffic that comes along with it. Another notable feature is that ICON includes a proven world-class artificial intelligence known as DaVinci that's built right into the framework. DaVinci is very popular with Korean financial institutions 
for its ability to accurately predict outcomes. Da Vinci will be utilized for predictive analysis, carrying out optimal network distribution policies, and other future AI projects. The ICON Foundation will also send their own people to a potential organization and help them custom build and integrate their very own blockchain solutions. By taking such an offensive approach to onboarding clients, ICON will certainly encourage large-scale adoption. The ICX tokens are the primary blockchain currency, which are already available at many exchanges. ICX will also be available for trade on ICON's integrated decentralized exchange. The integrated exchange will offer Ethereum pairings along with native ICX pairings. To make things easy, the exchange will be accessible directly through the official ICX wallet. There are several ICX native tokens that are actively being developed. Projects like Stove, Bluewell, Tank, Silk Road, with many more in the works. The ICX token itself will be more than just a value holder, but will allow users to pay for products and services directly from organizations that partner with ICON, like stores, insurance, and universities, anything. ICX can be used for other forms of transactions in utilizing smart contract functionality. There is currently a circulating supply of 386,000 tokens, which means that the same market cap as a Bitcoin worth 10,000, an ICX token would be worth $436, which should give you an idea about the value growth potential. The team behind Icon Foundation is purportedly an all-star team of over 100 talented people. Just to give you an idea how very serious they are about world domination. This includes Mr. Min Kemp, a founding member of ICON, who has several really great and insightful online interviews that I highly recommend everyone check out. Links are down below. Some of the cons would be that there is a lot of fear, uncertainty, and doubt being passed around through sensationalized news stories and negative press mostly regarding potential regulations coming from the South Korean government. Though these fears are mostly false and overblown, some would still say that the negative press coverage has had a very real impact on the markets. Other cons would be the fact that there will be future minted coins that could potentially dilute the value, hurting early investors. However, Mr. Min Kim mentioned that it will have little impact on the markets as they would only gradually release the tokens and only releasing other tokens to strategic partners that will enhance the network value overall. With all of this said, I have a very high opinion of what the ICON platform will be able to achieve. There are no doubts that such a powerful project is going to be around for a long time, especially since they are already working with clients across several industries and their platform is built in a way that makes it future-proof with an ability to constantly integrate with new and emerging blockchains, interlocking the old with the new in a hyper-connected world. I'm Pai Patel, and you can find me on Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat. Leave your comments down below, let me know how you're liking my new show, and if you have anything else to add to the discussion, please share the knowledge. Keep an eye out for my new weekly news show that will be uploading soon to a tube near you. And as always, click that red subscribe button so you don't miss your next piece of the pie. One of the problems we've seen mm -mm -mm. Wah, wah, wah. South Korea is the home for the third largest crypto exchange in the world, Upbe. Mm -hmm. Beat it, beat it. No, okay. <clears throat> We're not Michael Jackson. Pinky and the brain, pinky and the brain. One is a genius, the other is insane. <laughs> Like how I said before, why is T-O-T-O-T-O-T-O-T-O-T-O-T-O-T-O-T-O-T-O-T-O-T-O-T-O-T-O-T-O-T-O-T-O-T-O-T-O-T-O-T-O-T-O-T-O
to, but geo, not goo, it's go. It's weird, like, people are following me. I can tell a joke about the tomato. There's a, there's a mama tomato and a papa tomato and a baby tomato. And they're crossing and they're walking on the street. And papa tomato turned around and, wait, how does that joke go? <laughs> he squishes the baby tomato and then he says, catch up. But does he give him any other warnings? I don't know. So there was a mama tomato and a papa tomato and a baby tomato and they were walking on the street crossing the road and and baby tomato couldn't stay with them and kept getting left behind and so papa tomato turned around and squashed him and said catch up. <laughs> the only joke I can remember is from Pulp Fiction. <laughs> Uma Thurman tells that joke. I don't know if I said it right.